Turkish Aerospace Industries has converted its SimSec training system into a kamikaze drone. The program for the high-speed target drone system began in 2009 to meet the Turkish military's need for training against aerial targets, simulating enemy aircraft or missiles. It was created as a turbojet-powered, high-speed platform with a maximum speed of 400 knots, 740 kph, that can fly to an altitude of 15,000 feet. Temel Kotal, the head of TIE, said in an April 25 interview with CNN Turk that the system can now be used as a kamikaze drone. It can carry 5 kilograms of explosives, and it can fly around 100 to 200 kilometers when launched from a UAV. We produce 100 SIMSEC drones per year, Kotal said. The Pentagon announced Friday that it would cancel all of the border construction projects to build military schools, training facilities and more. More than 100 projects were put on hold in late 2019, after then-Defense Secretary Mark Esper signed off on rerouting $3.6 billion from the Defense Department's military construction account. What's left will go back into those deferred projects, according to a Pentagon release. DOT has begun taking all necessary actions to cancel border barrier projects and to coordinate with interagency partners spokesman Jamal Brown said in a statement. Spokespeople for the Pentagon and USIS did not immediately respond to a request for more information, including how much money was yet to be awarded and whether funds could be recouped for awarded contracts that haven't been completely fulfilled. The Biden administration this week approved a trio of potential foreign military sales cases for Australia and India, items worth a potential $4.36 billion for American companies. On Thursday Australia was cleared to purchase a package of heavy armored combat systems, with an estimated price tag of $1.685 billion, and four CH-47F Chinook cargo helicopters, with an estimated price tag of $259 million. On Friday India, was cleared to purchase six P-8I maritime surveillance aircraft, worth an estimated $2.42 billion. FMS notification figures represent potential arms sales that the State Department internally cleared, then passed to Congress through the Defense Security Cooperation Agency. The notifications do not represent final sales. If Congress does not reject the potential sale, it then goes into negotiations, during which dollar figures and quantities of equipment can change. Greece hosted the Inyachos 2021 military exercise in April, welcoming military forces from the United States, Israel, the United Arab Emirates, Cyprus and a number of other nations. In addition to improving military readiness and strengthening the ability of the respective militaries to work together, the exercise sent an unmistakable message to Iran that it has failed to isolate Israel. The Hellenic Air Force-led annual military exercise ran from April 12 to 22 and focused on planning and conducting a number of tactical and operational air combat missions. These included a multitude of joint operations and air defense training to include air-to-ground strike missions, defensive counter-air and close-air support, according to the U.S. Air Force. The exercise was conducted in Greek airspace over western and central Greece, as well as over the central and southeastern Aegean Sea. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Mike Gilday and Acting Navy Secretary Thomas Harker praised the perennially problematic literal combat ship during congressional testimony Thursday. We are very bullish on LCS and where we are headed Gilday said of the vessels, which have overrun budgets and failed to perform their promised missions for nearly 20 years. Gilday praised the work of the ships in recent missions in the West Pacific and in U.S. Southern Command, where a ship is now helping out with counter-narcotics missions. He also said the LCS fleet will be getting beefed up in the next 18 months, as 31 of the ships will be outfitted with missile systems, while 15 will receive an anti-submarine capability, and another approximately 15 ships will receive an anti-mine capability.